all over the Wait, San Diego son. Oh, we're on the way to San Diego. This is where we're on the way to. And we're in the cargo lane. Did you see like a desert in the road, like cargo only? Well, is this that's what. It's because it's the cargo lane. I know, but like I've always wanted to go in the cargo lane. Okay, there's actually nobody. Oh, look, get it on the road. There's look, nobody look, in the cargo lane. Look, car. Oh, no way you're gonna read that. Wait, where's it? Oh, here we go. Car. Pool. Only. Yeah. And then it has this weird like diamond. But then it that keeps means... bringing us like off these yeah, weird look, ways. Like, like, we're separated. Like, like you're not. Once you're in the carpool lane, like you're committed. You ain't leaving that carpool lane. I love it. There's nobody else in the carpool lane either. No, there's, well, there's one person behind us now. Oh. In the carpool lane. Oh, also, we don't know what the speed limit is, so that's interesting. We're just guessing. We're guessing it's about 65. <coughs> I think it was 65 on this road on the way here. But like, why don't we have speed? Uh, I don't think we were on this road because we're going in a different direction. Okay, well that's that argument. <laughs> um, I thought we came in on this. Well, maybe maybe this is a continuation to that road, isn't it? Yeah. Well. It, luckily, all the traffic seems to be on the other side. Oh yeah, oh. which is good. Um, but like, why don't interstates and stuff have their speed limit? Is there like just a generally accepted speed limit? They do that in the UK as well, and it really annoys me. In Ireland, like every few like kilometers, we're Taco just going. You can yeah. see that. <laughs> in Ireland, like every few kilometers, you get reminded what the speed limit is, like just in case. And then it help, it's helpful for tourists because, like, we don't, like in England, right, they have this thing called the national speed limit sign. So it's like a black circle and an X across it. Like, if you're a tourist, how on earth are you supposed to know what that means? What does that mean? It's the national speed limit. I actually don't know what the national, I think it's no. 80 miles. No, that's really fast, is it? 80, 80 miles? No. No, 80 miles, yeah. It's the, I think it's the national speed limit. Whereas, like, in Ireland, we just tell you what the speed limit is. Like, it just says 80 kilometers or 120, and it's just in numbers with a circle around it. Like, why Why would you want to have like an X across it? And then why is there no speed limit signs here? It's very confusing, especially for tourists. Anyway. Is that your rant over one? <laughs> That's my rant over with. So I'm like trying to be cautious, but also like not go really slow. So I'm going with 65 because I, on similar roads, like there's signs telling you what the eggs is speed limit yeah, would be. I've noticed that. But there's no signs to tell you what the speed limit is here. So. But we're still in the carpool lane. Yay. This is probably like so stupid to anybody that's American. But like for Aww. someone that is an American, this is a novelty for us. Carpools only. See, two or more persons per vehicle. That's us, because there's two of us. <laughs> Carpool exit okay. Left <laughs> <laughs> lane carpool is only okay. So there must be like a left exit coming up or something. Oh. I don't like left exits. I mean, we don't have them at home. <laughs> Do they have them in England though? Left exits? Um, not that I'm aware of. Sometimes, like, you know. No. I don't think there is left exits. It's very, it's very unusual, especially like when you're on a big road like this and then you realise that like the next exit that Google is telling you, you know, Google Maps says, oh, you're taking the next exit and then you realise that the next exit is on the other side and you've got to go yeah. across like six lanes. It's very confusing. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is not supposed to be in the carpool lane. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> What's he doing in our carpool lane? And also, very dangerous going in between two cars like that. Yeah. First ever in and out visit. Hey, feeling? Say it. <laughs> Speak with clarity. Cause there's too much noise around us. Or maybe it's just me. Mm -hmm. So, Rachel, what do you think of your first ever in and out? <laughs> <laughs> Too good for words. <laughs> Alright, let's try the first ever in and out burger. Let's do this. It looks good. It looks fresh. <laughs> I wonder if that's the Coronado Bridge there. Probably not. Actually, it might be. Oh, yeah. Probably is it. So, we have.
have made it to San Diego. It is now actually the next day. We got in a bit late last night, and by the time we got like settled, got into our Airbnb, it was quite late. Um, we've just come to the gas lamp quarter this morning. We're gonna go for like a nice breakfast brunch um, to a place that was actually recommended by um, the guy that's hosting us at the Airbnb. And uh, we're gonna get a nice breakfast and then we're gonna head to a baseball game. So we're going to see Padres. So the so San Diego Padres, I think is how you pronounce it, versus um, the New York Mets. And currently, each team has won a baseball game. So I think this is going to be a good game. It's like the decider, if we understand correctly. <laughs> and we're going to get ourselves like a nice cap and everything, maybe even a foam finger. We'll see how we get on. But um, the gas on quarter looks amazing. I can't wait to come back here at night and see what it's like. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LABB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah, state your name, big been dope on flame, I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again, I just flipped the pain, stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Diego Padres hat on because we were at the baseball game today and they won yes <laughs> it was very close so that was good fun to watch and um, but yeah I thought I would just bring you a little Target haul I mean um, so yeah I'll just show you what we have picked up so far in Target I say so far because we're definitely gonna go back and <laughs> um, one of the things that was on our list to get this trip is this pop secret popcorn this is the brand of popcorn that they use in the Disney parks it is movie theater butter is the one that we have gone for and um, I've heard that it's amazing so we're going to try that while we're here and bring the rest of it home. <laughs> we also got some Pringles and I decided to go with a flavour that we don't have at home which is this wavy wavy sweet and tangy barbecue. Oh I think wavy wavy is the type of Pringles. <laughs> I was like, that's a bit of a strange flavour. Um, so wavy wavy is the fact that the Pringle is wavy and then um, it's sweet and tangy barbecue is the flavour. So they'll be good to try. Got some fibre one bars. We got two um, flavours. We got lemon, uh, which we do have at home. And we also got cinnamon coffee cake. So we really like the cinnamon coffee cake. I think we're going to get more of them to bring home as well. And they're also a lot cheaper than at home, which is nice. We got some strawberry pop tarts. We love pop tarts and strawberry is my favorite flavor. 
we've got some some of this stuff is open because we've been eating it <laughs> we did two trips to target so it's like a combination of both of those trips I also got these chewy chocolate chip bars. We got a lot of stuff that we could have for like snacks at breakfast or lunch and um, because we will be eating out quite a bit while we're here. We got a huge packet of Oreo double stuff. Double stuff is my favorite. Ah, I just dropped one. So these are also open because we've been eating some Oreos. Let's destroy the kitchen here. Uh, we're actually in our Airbnb in San Diego. Uh, we love this Airbnb so far. We only checked in last night, but it's really cool. Uh, there'll be a proper tour and stuff on my vlogs. Um, so yeah, this is the Oreo double stuff. I love the double stuff because the white bit is the best bit. And I think the double stuff just makes it like the perfect proportion. Yeah, that's it. Because I think with the normal Oreos, there's just not enough white stuff. What else? We got some um, Method laundry detergent. I've heard this Method brand is really good. Um, but yeah, we got some laundry detergent so we can do some laundry while we're here and go home with nice clean washing. Turns out in our Airbnb, they've actually given us like a huge thing of laundry detergent. So we really didn't need that. But it means we can take this to LA if we want to do another load before we go home. Um, we got some uh, daytime severe cold and flu because Rachel had a bit of a cold when she came over. I think that's actually a little bit better now. You feel a bit better? No. No? <laughs> Still got a bit of a cold? In the morning, oh, is it? I think when you've got a cold like and you travel, it just makes it so much worse. Um, we also got big Sour Patch Kids. We got these last time. It was so funny. Last time we just didn't get it right because it was saying that they were two times bigger, but yet the pack was the same size, and we didn't understand that it's actually the little kids inside that are bigger. <laughs> the Sour Patch Kids. I don't know what they're called. Oh yeah, the little kids. <laughs> You know what I mean? The little jellies, they're bigger. <laughs> what else did we get? Oh, we've got a big bag of, oh my God, I forgot about this. Family size Chex mix. Oh wow, this looks so good. And we got a flavor, what flavor did we get? Party blend, bold party blend snack mix. Um, it says here it's got like Worcester sauce, garlic, onion in the flavor. And um, I don't know what that um, herb is. I imagine it's like chive or something but yeah these are really good I've had like something similar at home I haven't tried these exact ones but they look amazing so and it's a huge bag like look at the size of this bag it's massive everything here is massive but it's great got some beef jerky Rachel has never tried beef jerky so we got some teriyaki beef jerky to give a go and um, it's like a nice one so hopefully that's good also got some Swedish fish I like Swedish fish Swedish fish Swedish fish. I can't say that properly. Right, Swedish. <laughs> Even when you get to the end of Swedish. <laughs> Swedish fish. <laughs> Even that sounds weird. I'm taking my time. And we got some airheads. Haven't tried these before, but they look quite cool. Got some Dasani water. Very exciting. A huge, <laughs> big um, pack of these. But yeah, I've just got one to show you because I'm not lifting that whole pack up. Um, we also got drinks wise some Snapple so um, I think Rachel tried this flavor for the first time in LA when we went to the what was that place the last bookstore yeah. in LA and they had a little machine that had these but um, it's the strawberry and kiwi flavor I love this one it's so good so yeah we got like a pack of these as well and I got a um, Gripton Pro XL flexible tripod. It's basically like a gorilla pod, but I had something like a sort of cheaper version of this um, and it's kind of broken. So I thought I would get this. It'll be really handy for my GoPro. And finally, some grapes. It's like the only healthy thing we got, is it? Water and grapes, I think. It's the only healthy thing that we got, but there you go. We're on holiday. We're literally going like right by there. In a quarter of a mile, merge onto Pacific Highway. Can we tell people where we're going, Rachel? So, oh, oh, by the way, so we went to the baseball game. <laughs> um, we got back and just did nothing, right? We just chilled yeah. in the um, Airbnb and watched the pretty alert. But um, what's it? The San Diego Padres won! Yay! Um, <laughs> we got our caps on. <laughs> um, but yeah, the game was really good because it was really tight because Continue on Pacific Highway for three quarters of a mile. Don't mind that, we're just um, navigating our way to In and Out Burger again and to Target. Um, but yeah, each team had actually won a game before this game today.
today. So Mets had oh, um, San Diego Padres had won the first game. Mets had won the second game. So in half a mile, keep decided. left to continue on Barnet Avenue. And um, it was really tight, wasn't it? Oh, keep left. Yeah. Um, it was really tight. It was like the Mets were ahead by like um, one run, and then. San Diego Padres caught up and then it was like loads of zero Keep left to continue on Barnet Avenue there was loads of zero in it and then eventually and like Met almost got a run as well yeah and then um, uh, San Diego Padres got a run and it was awesome because obviously you want the home team to win like when that's who you're they're supporting <laughs> um, so yeah we just chilled at home for a while and now we are off to both Keep to right to continue on Midway Drive Target and Keep right. we're also going to In and Out Burger again, even though we had it last night. Continue on Midway Drive for three quarters of a mile. We just really fancied a lazy day. We've had quite a heavy few days in Disneyland, and even at the LA day was really busy, so yeah. it's been nice to just chill, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm tired. I'm so tired. We both started falling asleep, like on the sofa in the Airbnb, and we're going to go out for dinner and stuff, like a proper sit down dinner. And we were like, actually. You know what, we're better off just having a chill one. If we're falling asleep, we know we need it. These um, little mug dessert bake things are like brand new information. Like, what is this about? Never seen these before. So you basically get sa sachets and then you just mix in like water or milk and you just put them in the microwave and then you get whatever this is. Like, what is this? Soft baked chocolate chip cookie. I mean, we're, I think we're gonna get this one, the cinnamon roll and see what it's like. but. This is just blowing my mind right now. Look at all of the different coffee options. I wish we had all of these options in the UK. There's so many different Dunkin' Donuts flavor. Look, they've got like caramel coffee cake, cinnamon coffee roll. Oh. How do you make these though? Is this just like instant? Oh. I think that might be like ground coffee. Is it? You just add water or is it like have to go through a filter? No, oh, yeah, that has to, that goes through like one of the- Cinnamon coffee. I know. Well, I don't actually, I don't know if I want cinnamon in my coffee. I'd rather have coffee and a cinnamon roll. I like caramel in my coffee though. Do you know what I don't like in my coffee? And it's a nutty. I'm, oh, yeah, not, I'm not a nutty coffee person. Look at all these Starbucks options. We actually have one of these um, coffee machines in our Airbnb. So I was tempted to get one of these. So they've got some um, caramel, which is my favorite. What do you think, Rach? It's so it's eleven ninety nine, but it's sixteen cups of coffee. These alcohol prices are insane. What is that? So seven hundred and fifty ml, ten dollars ninety nine. But look at this. This is one point seven five liters of vodka for twenty dollars. Wow. We found some uh, limited edition Ben and Jerry's. So I think we're gonna go for. Lampfire trail mix. In and out. <laughs> Are you okay? It's like, <laughs> like flopping around all over the place and the camera is I don't know where. I got this by the cue movement. The movement. Jeez. It's breaking over anyway, so This has everything. Hold Panda on. Express! You're literally like a child. <laughs> this is Panda Express over there. You like this squirrel? And okay. Staples. Hon. Burger King. Delta. Like, oh, I should live here. Okay, go. We've got to In and Out Burger. We just finished up in Target and we bought loads, didn't we, Rich? Yep. What should we get? Oh, we got distracted. Like, we only went in to get a couple of things to do us for dinner. We didn't night. get that much. I know, we didn't get that much, but we got very distracted. I just like looking at things. Yeah, we really do like looking at things. We got, to, there was these cool like mug things that I showed you that have like desserts in them. They were awesome. We got the cinnamon one of them. So I can't wait to try that. And yeah, we're queuing for In-N-Out Burger. It seems to be going quick enough. Um, but this area has everything, doesn't it? Like everything. Everything we like. Every fast food place you can So if the of. camera is wobbling right now, it's because Rachel <laughs> <laughs> keeps getting distracted by the different things that are around her. <laughs> Literally like every two minutes. Oh, like, my favorite thing, like, look. Chipotle. Oh, Panda yeah. Express. Hello. Chipotle is over there, you can't see it, but trust me. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> That's all you can see now, but it's that. 
Um, <coughs> yeah, and obviously it has Target, it has Ulta, it has what CVS, it has um, Chili's. There are so many places. I hop. What are you getting in in and out? In, Cheeseburger in meal with Dr Pepper. Yes. I I think my go for the double double because I just had. Should I get a large because I want a big drink? The chips are very really small, weren't they yesterday? We only got a medium. That was a medium chips. Yeah. That was quite small. You're like it. You're literally like the um. What is it? The dog in up like squirrel. There's too many squirrels around, and Rachel just can't handle it. <laughs> she's like squirrel, squirrel, and then she's like, I'm sure there are more squirrels that I haven't seen. <laughs> staples. Um. So yes. So I'm gonna get the double double. You're gonna get the cheeseburger. There's a person taking our order just before we get to the um where the menu is. So yeah, I can see the double double. You're gonna get a milkshake. Are they like supposed to have good milkshakes? No idea. I don't know. Does Did I run away a bit and he's looking at us? Oh, no. I didn't stop. That's okay. You got me freaked out. We never got a hat. Yeah, you can ask for a hat. I want an in. Can you ask for a hat through the drive thru? Um, I guess so. I'll ask her, see what she says. So they did ask us when we were ordering if we were going to eat in the car and I found that very confusing <laughs> and I said yes but I think what they meant was like are you going to eat it right now in the car which means they've given it to us like open like this as opposed to in a takeaway bag so now we have to eat it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so get dressed, pack your bags, feel the holiday mood You won't believe what we're about to do Cause we're off, California I long to wrap my arms around you Wanna 